Hi, and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today, I'm going to show you how you can uh, laser engrave or laser cut something with your Ninja Master using AutoCAD or LibreCAD. Without further ado, let's get into it. This video is not going to be a tutorial on how to use AutoCAD or uh, LibreCAD, the software that I will show you later on. Uh, so this implies that you already know how to use the software. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how to save your uh, projects so that you can then upload them on the Ninja Master application. All right, well, let's go over to the Ninja Master desktop application and uh, to have this uh, running, you must have the machine connected and powered up. So if you go over to the CNC tab, you will see here we have on the uh, top right corner two buttons that will allow you to open two different file, file type. So if you're following my channel, uh, you already know what a .nc file is. I've showed you in my previous video. Uh, how to use Inkscape with a plugin which you can download from my website. I will put the link in the description below. Uh, so this time we are going to uh, cover the .dxf file. Uh, now before to do anything with AutoCAD, I will show you over here the .dxf file. So it's basically telling you what kind of files are supported and what kind of objects are supported. Uh, so AutoCode 2000 all the way through uh, 2013 and then the objects are arc, circle, line, spline and so on. Okay, now let's go. Let's go over to uh, AutoCAD. Let's start a new drawing and for this demonstration I'll just do something very simple. Let me get rid of the grid. I will just draw a simple rectangle with some dimension. Let's say 1530. Okay. Perfect, this is it. And now let's go up, save us, okay. And now we can give a name. And down where it says file type, uh, go to the drop down list and scroll down to where it says DXF. Uh, what I found working the best is uh, DXF version 2007. So I will recommend you using that one and then give it a save and you're good to go. Now we can go over to the Ninja Master, go to the control tab, now right click on the canvas, say load G code, cut file, uh, and there we go. No, I think, yes, I save it here. All right, and then open. Now this is going to show you um, all the supported type of objects and also the counts of them and as well as the unsupported one so if you are aware that you've used something and here is listed as not supported be aware that that's not going to show up on your canvas or is not going to be correctly engraved okay so give it okay and there we go this is our rectangle now uh, you will notice that we drew uh, 15 by 30 rectangle but here we got the 15.08 30.08 i'm not sure what there is and if there is a way to set it up but uh, i believe that what here the software is trying to do is to account for the thickness of the laser okay even if i found that uh, there are still uh, some tolerance discrepancies Okay, once you are here, um, you you should already be able to to know what to do. You can set your size, give it OK, then you can set your burning parameters and you're good to go. Now, let me show you real quick uh, LiberCAD. LiberCAD is another software. This is a free software, actually, open source. Uh, so also here, let's try uh, something simple. Uh, the, the, we'll draw the same rectangle, okay? Uh, we will do it uh, with the opposite dimension. We'll do it 30 by uh, 15, okay? And then we can go over to the file and then save us. So uh, 
give it a name and as you can see here you already have the option 2007 selected you can select earlier option if you'd like but as I told you that's the way to go then give it OK and now let's go back to the Nature Master and over to the control right click and give clear to clean everything up then right click again load cat file and here we got the 3015 again we have we can check this if everything is supported and here is our object once again you can notice that 0.8 millimeter then give it okay set up your burning parameters and you're good to go now i will show you I've showed you in my previous video how you can use Inkscape. Inkscape is a great tool and uh, you can be also reasonably precise. But in my view, for certain type of uh, application, it's uh, way better to use uh, uh, a CAD software. Okay. So let me now show you back to AutoCAD. Let me close this up. There is something that I've prepared. Okay, something that I've prepared yesterday for this tutorial. So I've drawn a gear and by the way, uh, if you want to know how you can draw a gear, uh, well, there are several options. One of them is by using a, an engineering reference manual where you can set all the parameters starting with the module and the pitch angle. Okay. Uh, but most of the time this is too complex and you will need to generate an Excel spreadsheet to be able to do uh, all the correct dimensioning alternatively um, if you use other softwares of the Autodesk uh, environment like Inventor uh, this is the Inventor opened into a new assembly you can go over to the 3D uh, sorry to the design tab and you will see over here spur gear this will basically now launch the spur gear wizard okay and as you can see over here, uh, if you know already how uh, gearings work and the terminology, you can set up some bunch of things, RPM, module, gear ratio, and so on and so forth. Then you can give it OK. Yeah, we'll accept everything. It's just to demonstrate you guys what I'm doing. And as you can see, you've got a set of gears. Let me rotate this a little bit so that you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, if you're using um, Vision 360, also there, there is an option. I don't have it in this computer, so I'm not able to show you. Alternatively, there are some nice option on the web. Uh, you can uh, write um, Spur Gear Generator, Generator, and there you go. And there is this uh, very interesting uh, uh, website where you can basically design all your gearing set and then you you have the chance to export it into DXF SVG and so on however be aware that it's a paid service and I think it's correct because there is a big amount of job behind this uh, website all right and that's pretty much all so uh, as you can see, uh, it's just a matter of saving as and selecting the file type that you want to save. And then uh, you are enabled to upload it on the Ninja Master desktop application, which will be uh, good enough for the laser engraving. Um, alternatively, you can use some other software, and that's something that I will, I'm planning to do a video for, just to show you how you can use your uh, Ninja machine with, uh, with other software other than the uh, desktop application provided uh, by NJ and um, uh, so if you are interested uh, to to create gears so to laser cut gears uh, I will um, put a link in the description below where you can find this uh, spur gear generator and uh, alternatively you can use one of the other Autodesk software like Inventor and uh, uh, Fusion 360 uh, which come built in uh, a spur gear generator actually not not only spur gear but you have several different type of uh, uh, gears uh, so there you will be uh, able to create your 3D gear and then you can uh, um, export it into 
uh, DXF. All right, and that's pretty much all, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comment, put them uh, in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Ciao for now.